I'm buying more Bitcoin and more crypto right here, right now. If you guys want to know where I'll be buying, then best you stay tuned right to the very end of the video. Welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. I'm Kiara DeCash. Thank you for being here with me today, guys. Let's rock this channel. We have been missing you guys so much, man. I have been missing doing videos. I've been getting a little bit annoyed that I haven't been doing videos, but it is what it is. I've had so much cool stuff busy happening. So make sure to hit that notification bell so that when I do do videos, you guys actually can see that. So thank you very much for being here with me today. If you guys missed out on my live session last night, every single Monday, I have a live session for you guys, 7 p.m. Um, and that is going to delve into charts, to trading, to news, to what's going on in the week, the economic calendars, all kinds of fun, crazy, beautiful things. So Go check it out. Uh, that was the stream over there. So go check that one out. Do not miss out on it. There was a lot of information that you guys need to see. I will leave it up pinned in the cards for you guys because there's a lot of information pertaining to what I'm about to share with you on today's video. So today, the Morass Money Bubbles, once again, we're bleeding in the market and it just is what it is. We're just seeing absolute blood on the streets, guys. Even Pulse X. Hex, Fix, and all kinds of things are down. We only have this thing, FD and Leo, and very, very few coins that are actually up on the market today. Now, the Fear and Greed Index is currently sitting at one under $1.6 trillion, which we have absolutely busted our asses down from. Even OKB is down 13%, but then you have a couple of coins that are pumping. So there are coins that pump, and there are coins that dump, and that's why it's good to make sure that you take profits on one coin and put them into another. The simple trading rule is don't hate it, don't date it, only trade it. That's a simple rule um, in terms of this. Now, guys, I'm literally just seeing Bitcoin fall out the tree. Bitcoin is sitting at $764 billion market cap. So we've lost a lot of volume over the past uh, kind of 24 hours. The trading volume has been about 31 billion. Seven days down, we're 9.2% down. Ethereum is 12.3% down. So you guys can see Solana's bleeding 17.8% in the last week. BNB 6.8% down. Ripple's 11.7. Lido's 12.2. Guys, all of the shit that is happening here right now is because of FTX and Grayscale. We will touch base on that in a short little moment as to what is going on. But coins are dropping 20%, 30% here because Bitcoin and Ethereum are dropping 10, 12, 15%, guys. So, you know, this shit is unreal right now. $83.6 billion trading volume. So things are busy happening out there that are just not a little bit kosher out there. I did say to you guys that the, that in my live stream that we would definitely see it at neutral, if not in the fear side of things once again, because of what's going on. I have no doubt that tomorrow, the likelihood of us when this thing resets in 12 hours will very much be at um in in the fear state of things even if it's 49 48 47 it's still going to be in the fear because of what we have been seeing however should we be scared or should you be watching what's going on out there and not being fooled or manipulated out of your funds or your trading let's go and have a look well the chinese stocks are having their worst start to a year since 2016 so grayscale um selling and dumping their bitcoin into the market where all of the other etf applicants are actually buying up that bitcoin so it's keeping bitcoin kind of stable in terms of trading at the moment but the hong kong benchmark hang seng fell 2.3 percent just yesterday only okay uh so you know that's very very interesting that uh we are seeing a huge huge thing here a bubble popped as the economy showed signs of strain and share prices got way ahead of company profits. So, you know, things are busy happening out there. This is the China's benchmark CSI 300 index. 
And as you can see, since uh, Feb 23, we literally have been coming down. So the stock market didn't just fall in one day, guys. It has been a process of bleeding, which essentially in some of the stuff, we still have been in the bear market side of things. Now, this is the Chinax, okay? Or the Chinese um, stocks, okay? And this is only from 2016 now to 2024. We've already been falling all the way since uh, October 2020, just by the way. So it's not like this is a death trap. However, however, <coughs> what I do want to say to you guys is that this is a dead cat bounce pattern. Okay. First of all, we also have the fact that this is kind of retesting under the Gaussian channel here, which would essentially tell us that we would probably want to move down lower, wouldn't we? Okay. So I think that the Chinese stocks probably are going to go down a little bit further. If we look here at the, um, the HSI or the Hang Seng Index, okay, we can actually see that this has been falling down nonstop. This was the point where we were told to sell. Right now, however, I do want to give you guys a little bit of an indication that there is some sort of level of support right here. Okay. At this level right here. So are we going to break further down? I'm not sure. I don't quite believe so. I mean, if we look at the lows on that, that low, that low, that low, are all making higher lows. And this is making lower highs. So generally that is... I mean, if we look at it, it can be a little bit of a bullish uh, kind of pattern forming. But this is going to need some sort of retracement because it is bouncing on support. So maybe we get a bounce off of here. Why are we going to get a bounce? Well, we'll talk about that now. So first of all, before I carry on, the Bitcoin ETFs post uh, a six, uh, 76 million in net outflows on uh, the seventh day of trading. Despite unceasing outflows, uh, from Grayscale, the outlook for Bitcoin spot uh, ETF remains positive with more than 1.1 billion in total inflows across the board, says Bloomberg um, ETF uh, analyst James Safer. Now, I want to go and show you something on the ETF. So make sure to stay tuned because we are going to see something very interesting. Now, firstly, Hong Kong's stock is going, is jumps 3% up, okay, after a report on more china stimulus okay forget even china that's the word you're looking for they are going to stimulate now also the bank of Ch japan keeps their policy unchanged also so guys the printing and the money printers are being turned on right now and you know just i want to share this article with you because FTT bucks market turmoil as FTX estate is revealed to be behind the gray, the GBTC sales. FTT, well, FTT was up 11% in the past 24 hours as the broader market trapped by coin 20 slump by 4%. Remember we spoke about the FTX dumping their coins. Well, I think they waited for the FTX law, I mean, the, the ETF launch, and they started to dump more of their coins from there. So, hopes of creditors led to FTT tokens now defunct FTX exchange rising by 11% with claims rising 80 cents to the dollar. Uh, trading volumes jumped 90 million from Sunday's 22 million, and CoinGecko's data shows that the tokens allowed holders to access certain benefits on the Sam Bankman freed FTX exchange before it collapsed in 2022. So FTX claims prices for FTX claim over 1 million continue to increase. Market price of January 12, uh, 72 bids, 75 ask, up two points from the prior week. So FTX is trading much higher based on what is going on here right now. So I do believe that FTX um, are definitely in the sell of the ETF, um, um, Grayscale ETF, the price action came off after Coindesk reported that FTX's bankruptcy estate had dumped 22 million shares of Grayscale Bitcoin exchange traded fund. 
These were nearly worth $1 billion and accounted for almost half of all the GBTC sales since the product went live in earlier January. As such claims, FTX deposits over 1 million have continued to increase. Market prices as of Jan are up two points from the prior week. So guys, there is stuff that is busy happening. FTX are dumping their grayscale, which they owned a good chunk of. I mean, if they own 22 million shares, that's a lot, guys. So, you know, there is a bunch of stuff that is going on, but Kathy Wood's ARK Invest has bought about $15.9 billion, uh, sorry, million dollars worth of its own Bitcoin ETF. That's her personal, okay? ARK, uh, sorry, ARK, that's ARK Invest, has added 365,427 shares of the ARK B Bitcoin ETF to its next generation ETF fund. Now, not only that, but so, when the Ethereum ETF gets approved, then we can get ready for Grayscale to dump billions again. I'll, I agree with him. I agree with Lark. I think this is the sneaky aspect of the, um, the SEC and Mr. GG. Okay. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. But Grayscale, Bitcoin holdings have dropped from around 619,000 to about 552,000, which uh, is almost 67,000 BTC outflow since the 11th when trading started. 10% of the fund has left, including the FTX estate. So very interesting, guys, um, which brings me to the next batch of articles, because the interesting ETF stats are that BlackRock's Black uh, BTC ETF has become the first to hit the 1 billion assets under management, and BTC has overtaken silver to become the second US's second largest commodity ETF asset class behind only gold. You can see that over here. Uh, sorry, you can see that collectively the spot ETFs have crossed the 10 billion in trading volume. That is massive. I do agree. Um, I think that the trading volume is now sitting around like um, 17 point something billion, guys. So that is very, very juicy. Uh, here you go. Update. ETFs have had 18.7 billion of trading volume in just seven days, including the 2 billion today um, from yesterday. So not only that, the SEC's account on X had a 2FA, two-factor authentication, disabled for six months prior to the hack at staff's request. Very interesting. And if you guys are thinking of selling your Bitcoin, well, then watch this little video right here because you're not going to want to sell it. Check what this guy does here. Dips, but I feel absolutely nothing. I love it. I think it's true. Look at the dude's hand. Not even a little bit of black on it. Um, and between BlackRock and Fidelity, they now hold more than 64,000 Bitcoin worth $2.6 billion. They're buying $433 million. I showed you guys this last night. Now, the 67,000 Bitcoin, okay, that has been dumped by Grayscale has pretty much been absorbed by BlackRock and Fidelity on their own. So, guys, don't be fooled by the bunch of shit. Not only that, we are also about to see old coin uh, season come into play very, very soon. I don't want you guys to get fudded out of your old coins and your crypto. Check it out. We're in the old coin season on the short term time frame, okay? Over uh, the daily time frame. We're in altcoin season, but over the month, we're nowhere near it just yet. We're kind of halfway up there. So do you see that the altcoin season month hasn't even begun yet? Okay. Now, with that being said, all right, according to the crypto quant and look into Bitcoin um, knuckle charts, okay, you guys can see here that the NUPL charts are actually telling us to hodl our Bitcoin, not sell our Bitcoin, which is why I'm wondering why Grayscale are selling their Bitcoin. But they're a company, they need to take profits. And it's as simple as that, and that's what's busy happening. So the net unrealized price, or the NUPL, is this blue line over here, which has kind of at the bottom was the best time to get, it was the worst time to sell, but the best time to buy. 
And right now is a phenomenal time to buy because we're in a capitulation time. And only once we start going into the orange will the nipple tell us that it's time to sell. Now, over here, you can see in the green phase, okay, first of all, the blue line is the nipple and the BTC is the price. Nipple is net unrealized profit or loss. And in the green, okay, is capitulation. In the white, the, the white is hope and fear. In the, the kind of lemon yellow, it's uh, optimism and, and anxiety. The mustard yellow, it's belief and denial. And the red is euphoria and greed. So the price action is up there in the euphoria and greed, but the nipple is not, okay? And the nipple is actually in optimism or anxiety right now. And right now, I would probably say it's a little bit of optimism and some anxiety because we have not yet seen the $100,000 Bitcoin or even a new all-time high Bitcoin. And I think people are kind of shitting themselves a little bit for these things. So. I want to go and show you some of the crazy chart stuff right now um, because on the monthly time frame guys crypto this is crypto one month um bitcoin chart we literally have been in the green since 2020 10, since its inception on the monthly time frame with the gaussian channel we have literally been in the green now guess what on the monthly time frame isn't it very interesting that we pulled back to find some support here? We pulled back to the medium line. We have never, ever broken the, the, the bottom end of the um, this Gaussian channel. Every single time we touched the middle, okay? And I'm talking about on the monthly time frame. I'm not talking about on the lower time frames right now, guys. I need you guys to realize something that is super, super important look at this and this is why i'm stretching this out for you guys so just excuse me while i get this right you guys can see here how this thing just absolutely explodes now draw this back once again touch the top touch the middle it never ever went down to the bottom when it goes down to the bottom and crossed over on the lower time frames the the uh, gaussian channel went red which indicated that that was bearish now we found support right here we have also found some support right here at the top of the gaussian channel so at the worst case scenario we might see a move back down to this kind of twenty-five thousand level do i believe that's going to happen personally no is it impossible no but right now, what I do believe is that we will at least see it touch the top, which is back here at the 36,300 to 37,000 price level, guys. Which brings me on to the Dixie chart. This is my long-term Dixie chart that I have been um, sharing with you guys. You can see I've left the Gaussian channel here on two. We started to go a little bit red over here. But I believe that with the same lines that I left on this chart, I haven't even looked at this chart for a very, very long time with you guys. But isn't it interesting that I drew this, that we would kind of capitulate, but from this level is the kiss of death. We'll make our way back down to this 90 level before bouncing back up, back up to the 102. And maybe we go down and crash our asses all the way down. If there is a recession, we could see it come down all the way down to the 60 level. Do I think it's going to do that? Over a few years, I mean, by 2033 is where it's saying that that could end up basically. But I do just want to point something out to you. Uh, we've basically gone from the top to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top. We are making our way to the bottom. Now, guys, this is over decades, okay? It's not an overnight process. You need to understand this, okay? This is the other chart that I have for you guys. This is the Gaussian channel on the Dixie. You guys can see that we are literally working towards turning down. Now, I just want to pull the, um, uh, I want to get out the Hakanashi candles here for you guys because the Hakanashi candles, will give us a really good indication to tell us whether we are actually on the way down for the dollar or not. 
if it loads, if it loads, because it's not loading. Now, the other side of things here is we do have the crypto cap, and same like Bitcoin, um, I don't have this going beyond 2017, but we literally have had the same thing. We have had a green Gaussian channel the entire time. We also bounced off of the median band on the Gaussian channel, which just, by the way, we bounced off cleanly over here. We then made a breakout of this falling wedge pattern right here, which is bullish, which means we still need to make a move up to the top end to hit the target of the falling wedge. Now, if I look at uh, our trading patterns, here is the falling wedge pattern. Da, 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 da. Boom, break out. Doesn't that look exactly like that? Da, 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 da. Break out, right? Okay, so guys, don't be fooled. I'm expecting massive, massive gains over the next two to three years. If you guys have patience to wait, you will make exceptional and extraordinary gains, especially if you use my Bybit and my Bitflex links down in the comments of this video for you guys. You guys will get some absolutely awesome and incredible crypto bonuses. Don't miss out. My Bitflex will give you $68,888 and my Bybit will give you $30,000. Do you want to get $100,000 for free to trade with? Well, use my links down below. Deposit the required bonus and you guys will be able to trade right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed that content and that it was very, very powerful for you. I love you all. You take care. You have a blessed day. Much love, beautiful blessings, and we will see you on the next ones you've been.